This Ridley O is sponsored by friends of BitcoinStore.com. The federal government definitely should not be involved in, in regulating anything with religious uh, values. Hello, this is Ron Paul with your weekly update for Monday, May 20th. The IRS's job is to violate our liberties. What do you expect when you target the president? That is what an internal revenue service agent allegedly said to the head of a conservative organization that was being audited after calling for the impeachment of then-President Clinton. Recent revelations that the IRS agents gave special scrutiny to organizations opposed to the current administration's policies suggest that many in the IRS still believe harassing the president's opponents is part of the job. As troubling as these recent reports are, it would be a grave mistake to think that IRS harassment of opponents of the incumbent president is a modern or a partisan phenomenon. As scholar Burton Folsom pointed out in his book, New Deal or Raw Deal, IRS agents in the 1930s were essentially hit squads against opponents of the New Deal. It is well known that the administrations of John F. Kennedy and Lyndon Johnson used the IRS to silence their critics. One of the articles of impeachment drawn up against Richard Nixon dealt with the use of the IRS to harass his political enemies. Allegations of IRS abuses were common during the Clinton administration, and just this week, some of the current administration's defenders recalled that anti-war and progressive groups alleged harassment during the Bush administration. The bipartisan tradition of using the IRS as a tool to arrest political opponents suggests that the problem is deeper than just a few rogue IRS agents or even corruption within one, two, or three, or many administrations. Instead, the problem lays in the extraordinary power the tax system grants the IRS. The IRS routinely obtains information about how we earn a living, what investments we make, what we spend on ourselves and our families, and even what charitable and religious organizations we support. Starting next year, the IRS will be collecting personally identifiable health insurance information in order to ensure we are complying with Obamacare's mandates. The current tax laws even give the IRS power to marginalize any educational, political, or even religious organization whose goals, beliefs, and values are not favored by the current regime by denying those organizations tax-free status. This is the root of the latest scandal involving the IRS. Considering the type of power the IRS exercises over the American people and the propensity of those who hold power to violate liberty, it is surprising we do not hear about more cases of politically motivated IRS harassment. As the first U.S. Supreme Court Chief Justice John Marshall said, the power to tax is the power to destroy. And who better to destroy than one's political enemies? The U.S. flourished for over 120 years without an income tax, and our liberty and prosperity will only benefit from getting rid of the current tax system. All right, Johnny, this is how it's going to go. You're going down. The federal government will get along just fine without its immoral claim on the fruits of our labor, particularly if the elimination of federal income taxes are accompanied by serious reductions in all areas of spending, starting with the military spending beloved by so many who claim to be opponents of high taxes and big government. While it is important for Congress to investigate the most recent scandal and ensure all involved are held accountable, we cannot pretend that the problem is a few bad actors. The very purpose of the IRS is to transfer wealth from one group to another while violating our liberties in the process. Thus, the only way Congress can protect our freedoms is to repeal the income tax and shutter the doors of the IRS once and for all. This Ridley O sponsored by friends of BitcoinStore.com. Half a million items for sale, often cheaper than Amazon. The easiest way to convert your bitcoins into real world stuff. 
They're privacy-friendly. You don't even have to give your name. BitcoinStore.com